For 20 years now, Basima Kabonesa has lived a life punctuated with misery and hardships. Before he was laid off, Kabonesa had worked for one of the most lucrative sectors in the country. At the time, Uganda was one of the leading exporters of Arabica coffee in the world. By then, coffee also contributed about 60% of the country's foreign exchange. He is among 1,800 employees of the defunct coffee marketing board who are demanding their terminal benefits. You see, what they were supposed to do is to sell the assets and pay us our terminal benefits. The assets were sold and the money just disappeared in thin air. Kabones and others were laid off in 1991 after government embraced a World Bank touted radical shift to privatization. However, out of 18 billion shillings, the laid-off employees were only paid 5.6 billion shillings. They are demanding for 11.6 billion shillings. These are Ugandans. These are people who voted us, you know, in this parliament. We represent them. Earlier on, the League and Parliament Affairs Committee had got reports that the claimants were paid 150 billion shillings. But the former workers said it was a falsehood. Those people, Minister of Finance, they created ghost climates, the so-called over 5,000, and paid them 150 billion. Well, the, the, the government claim, uh, claims that they paid everybody. Uh, we asked them for, for proof. Some of the properties, formerly owned by the Parastato, are Gorobi structures that house the Agua Trista factory. That machine and equipment, they costed the government 30 million dollars. That plant you were seeing at Bugolobi was the most modern on the African continent. Things just people, big people just took things here, right, left, and... Lawmakers on the committee said they would summon the Attorney General Peter Nyombi to explain why government has not paid the laid-off workers. I don't know whether it would be too excessive, actually, to send a summon. To some of the former employees... In the press of hope lies trepidation as they can only look back with nostalgia at the time people envied working at the Prastato. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.